Hi guys, good morning. So this is another global word. Um, the word that I just posted previously was a global word relating to a lost book, a lost scroll with scriptures relating to um, pride that's going to be found in Greece. The Lord showed me this in vision last night. <laughs> this was like right after prayer. I saw everything playing out. Okay. So this has to do with what's going on in the world today where everybody's saying that you know, there's a new diagnosis or they may have di they may have had this diagnosis for a while, but they're now like bringing it back up where they call it the demon syndrome, where people are seeing demonic faces on people. And that is just a gaslighting tactic because we've been, you know, us seers, we've been seeing these things. We've been seeing people with black eyes, all their eyeballs, all black and soulless people we've been seeing you know demon possessed people and this is very common for you know those who are spiritually gifted to see um those who are in deliverance to see pastors apostles to see um but what's really happening right now is it's more common and people are now starting to see it even more and it's because the veil is being lifted the holy spirit said the veil is being lifted and many people are starting to actually see what's going on now and starting to see that these things are actually real right however a lot of these people are going to try to gaslight those of us who are gifted and make it seem like it's a syndrome it's a diagnosis it's a sickness it's not real right and it's actually real but here's what the lord showed me via vision okay and here's the thing you know i'm not here to you know try to tell you what to do in your life you know your conviction is between you and god um, God would have already convicted you, but I want to just say that there's going to be a massive deliverance that is going to happen on a lot of people, massive deliverance, as in it's going to be global. It's going to be worldwide. You may even see it on the news. You're going to see people acting very demonically possessed. It already started. Okay. But you're going to see people acting very demonically possessed and they're not hiding it as in like they're not acting demonically possessed behind closed doors. It's like now they can't help it. So in public, you're going to see people acting very demonically possessed. Um, there may even be like clips on TikTok, clips on YouTube. It's going to be global. It's going to be worldwide. Everyone's acting out, acting demonically possessed. And the reason being is because a lot of people, there's demons within a lot of people and you know, there's demons that took over a lot of people's bodies. And it does not mean that, you know, everyone that is, you know, demon possessed is someone that's doing something bad to be demon possessed. There's a lot of people who don't know God, who don't pray, who don't know what deliverance is, who don't fast. And there's a lot of people who have been attacked and demons have been sent to them. So it's not only an evil person that may have a demon. There's people who are innocent that a demon may be sent to them. And I tell you guys this all the time, like, you know, there's certain... um you know, rituals that they do, they'll send demons to people to, why well, I think there's a lot of homeless people a lot of times, a lot of them, you know, where they were, most of them were once wealthy, once doing good, and then all of a sudden they went from doing good to being homeless all of a sudden, because sometimes it's not that they are, they went on drugs, sometimes it's literally someone, you know, sent a demon or a spirit to them, they didn't know about God, they didn't know about deliverance, they didn't know about fasting, so they didn't know how to get rid of that spirit, and that spirit took over their body, and now because of that, they're doing drugs, they're, you know, they're demon-possessed, and all of that stuff, right, so there's many reasons as to why people may have demons, and I'm not going to go into that, that's for a whole another sequel, which we'll do, but the Lord showed me there's going to be a massive deliverance, as in, it's going to be global, it's going to be worldwide, and we're going to witness a lot of people, um, who are demon possessed, we're going to witness them become free, free from these demons. And this is through the Holy Spirit. God is going to do a massive deliverance to show his glory. Okay. To show his glory. So people know that God is indeed real. And there's going to be a repetitive pattern of the scripture. He showed me very clear in details, guys. I can't even explain this. Very, it's going to be a repetitive pattern of Matthew 8, verse 28, is what we're going to all witness 28 to 34. When I'm actually going to read it to you, okay? So, and when he came to the other side of the country of the Gadarenes, two demon possessed men confronted him and they were coming out of the tombs. They were extremely violent and no one could pass by them. And this is what's going to be happening. We're going to see people wilding out, acting violent, acting very possessed. And they're going to go from act from being like that to all of a sudden being set free. Okay. And they cried out saying, what business do you have here with the son of God? Have you come here to torment us before the time? Now there was a herd of many pigs feeding from a distance from them. 
And the demons begged him saying, if you're going to cast out, if you're going to cast us out, send us to the herd of pigs. And he said to them, go. And they came out and went into the pigs and behold, the whole herd rushed down the steep bank into the sea and drowned in the waters. So what's happening here, how it happened with just him, you know, freeing one man from this demon, you're going to see a lot of people that are, you're going to see a time in this season where a lot of people are acting demonly possessed and they're, it's all over the news. It's, you know, it's, they're going to say it's mental illness. They're going to say it's a demon syndrome. They're going to say all these things to try to gaslight people. But what God specifically showed me last night was demons leaving a lot of people's bodies and entering into pigs, a bunch of pigs, a lot of pigs. Okay, and then here's what's going to happen. So it's going to go from seeing all these demonic possessed people and people actually seeing the demons on these people. Then you're not going to hear about that anymore. Okay, then you're going to start hearing now that there's there's a recall on pork. There's a recall on pork. You know how they have the mad cow disease. You guys are going to start seeing pigs acting mad in the farms, pigs biting people biting each other pigs biting their their farmers they're gonna start seeing the pigs acting wild the demons are coming out of these people out of men out of these demonic possessed people and they're going into the pigs and there's going to be a whole recall on pigs recall on pork recall on all of that so i want to just give you guys this heads up that this is all going to play out okay and this is actual actual biblical prophecy the difference is that it's going to be happening to a lot of pigs a lot of people at once it's not going to just be you know two or three people it's going to be a massive thing that's happening globally where the pigs around the world are acting possessed the pigs around the world are acting weird and strange and now there's recall on meat now there's a some sort of like disease that comes from pigs you know how they have the mad cow disease some type of disease that comes from pigs now where the pigs are going mad what it is it's actually these demons that are being casted out of men and they're entering these pigs so i want to just give you guys this confirmation i love you guys i'll talk to you soon bye